Hi, my name is Jeff Aslan. I'm a Canadian endorser for Sonar Drums, Vic Firth, Protector Cases, and Sinpad products. This is the first video in a four-part series that will focus on playing simple drum fills around the drum set using a very popular book called Syncopation by Ted Reed. Okay, great, so let's get started. So on Syncopation, if you turn to page 60, at the top it says accented 16th notes. So we're going to use page 60, 61, 62, and 63 in these four-part video series. So let's just talk about 16th notes for a second. 16th notes, there are four 16th notes in every quarter note. So one way we count those 16th notes is one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And when we play them, we're always going to count and play them at the same time. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So you notice that the downbeats and the upbeats, beats one, two, three, and four, and the end of one, the end of two, the end of three, the end of four, all fall with my right hand. The E's and the A's of all the 16th notes, so the E of one, the E of two, the E of three, the E of four, and the A of one, the A of two, the A of three, and the A of four, all fall with my left hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the accents that appear on these pages and we're going to move them around the drums. So all the right-handed accents are going to be played on the floor tom and all the left-handed accents are going to be played on the high tom. So let's take a look at number one right now just using your hands. So the first one, there's an accent on the first sixteenth note of beat one. So that's going to be played on the floor tom. All the other strokes are going to be played on the snare drum because they're not accented. So now that we have that down, we're going to add our feet to the mix. So you're going to play your bass drum with your right foot on beats 1 and 3, and you're going to play your hi-hat with your left foot on beats 2 and 4. So since we're playing on all the down beats, my bass drum, my hi-hat, is always going to line up with my right hand. Okay? So this is the way that it's going to work with just our feet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So now let's add the foot pattern into example number one. Now that we have number one done, let's add some rock beats to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play three bars of a rock beat. I'm going to count my phrases out loud to make sure I play three full bars of a rock beat, and then I'm going to play the fill on my fourth bar. So it's important to stick with phrases that are most recognizable, uh, so like four, eight, twelve, things like that. So let's try number one like that. Now let's take a look at number four. So number four, we have accents on beats one, two, and four. So those are all with the right hand on the floor tom. Let's try that. So that's numbers 1 through 15, deal with um, the accents falling on downbeats. Numbers 16 through to 30, deal with the upbeats. Let's take a look at number 16. So in number 16, the accent is on the third 16th note of beat 1. So if we subdivide and we count to 16th notes, 1, E, and, we notice that that accent falls on the end of 1, which is still with the right hand. So this is what 16 is going to sound like with our foot pattern. Great, now let's try number 16 with the three bars of a rock beat.
So now we've covered all the downbeats and the upbeats. Let's look at the E's and the I's of each beat. So starting on number 31, if we look at 31, the accent falls on the second 16th note of beat 1. So that's the E of 1, which is going to be with the left hand. So when we're playing, we're going to bring our left hand up to the high tom to play that accent. Let's try just number 31, um, just with the feet, and see what that sounds like. Now let's try adding a rock beat. One, two, three, four. When we get to number 46 to 55 plus 68 and 69, this is where the fun starts. So what we're doing is we're going to be putting the right-handed accents on the floor tom, the left-handed on the high tom, but it mixes it up within the same bar. So if we look at number 46, on beat 1 we have an accent, so that's the right hand on the floor tom. The next accent happens on the E of 2, so then we're going to bring our left hand up to play it on the small tom. And then on beat 3, we're playing our right-handed accent on the floor tom, and then the E of 4, we're bringing it back up to the high tom. Let's try number 46 with the rock beat and our feet to show you what that sounds like. Awesome. So now let's try number 49 with the same thing. So three bars of a rock beat, then the fill. Great. So when you get to 68 and 69 at the end of page 63, you notice we have a two-bar phrase as our fill. So we can't play a three-bar rock beat and then the two-bar phrase, because that equals a five-bar phrase. So what we want to do is we want to shorten our rock beat to two bars and then play the two-bar fill for 68 and 69. That gives us still a four-bar phrase. Let's try 68 with the rock beat and then the fill. So finally, 56 to 67 deal with the right hand on the floor tom playing upbeats and downbeats. Let's try 56 with the rock beat to see what that sounds like. Thanks for watching guys, that concludes the first video of the four part series. Uh, the next one will deal with putting the accents on the symbols, so stay tuned for that for the next couple weeks. Please like the video and subscribe. If you need any further explanation, there will be a link down below that will bring you to my website. You can also reach me and email me through uh, YouTube or any of my websites down below. And uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.